Cosmic horror is a subgenre of horror fiction that focuses on the unknown. It is also known as space horror, deep space horror, and interstellar terror. Cosmic horror stories typically involve dangers that are either incomprehensible to human minds or so alien as to be utterly indescribable. Cosmic horrors can include anything from Lovecraftian monsters to Stephen King's It. The scary thing is that you don't need terror grip tales to scare you because the real thing is more terrifying than any story envisioned from the mind of a human. Floating Space Corpses In the early days of space travel, many animals, including cats, several dogs, and famously, a chimpanzee, were sent up into the great unknown in the name of scientific discovery. Inevitably, not every animal made it home safely and this has led to a very creepy, but entirely plausible theory as to the whereabouts of their remains. There are many spacecraft from failed missions of the past that have not been recovered. This could mean that space is littered with floating corpses. Imagine these casting a dark shadow in space and blocking Earth's view of the universe or even landing on a planet and contaminating the environment. Supermassive black holes roam through space and are nearly impossible to detect. A supermassive black hole a million times heavier than the sun is hurtling through space at a rate of 3 million miles an hour. The black hole is reportedly named B31715 plus 425 and is currently 2 billion light years away from us. Researchers believe that, based on the unruly nature of this black hole, it may have bumped into another galaxy and, instead of merging its surrounding galaxy with the one it collided with, ripped apart to pursue its own path. If you're curious about the strange name of this rogue galactic monster, it was named B31715 plus 425 due to its coordinates on the Hubble Space Telescope. The name is taken from the first three letters of its coordinates and the date it was discovered, which was July 15, 1985. Space Decompression In June 1971, the entire Soviet three-man crew of the Soyuz 11 tragically died from decompression during re-entry due to a faulty valve. But what is decompression exactly, and what makes it such a nightmarish way for an astronaut to die? One man who suffered from decompression lived to tell the tale. He was a technician working inside a vacuum chamber at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, when he accidentally depressurized his spacesuit and within seconds lost consciousness. The man later reported that his last memory before passing out was the moisture beginning to boil on his tongue. Symptoms of decompression vary widely depending on the length of time you spend at extremely low pressure. If left for too long, your lungs can expand and explode if you hold your breath, and your blood can start to boil in major veins and cause blockages. But if you're really lucky, the lack of oxygen will cause you to pass out and you'll die before you know what's hit you. Space is terrifying because you're out of control and at the mercy of the mechanics of your spacecraft. No matter how strong or smart you are, all it takes is for one screw to come loose for your life to end. This is why ventures into space are planned years in advance and a lot of time is used to make sure that everything runs as smoothly as possible. Drowning in your spacesuit Water is normally contained in spacesuits for cooling purposes and for keeping astronauts refreshed on a spacewalk. But malfunctions can happen, and when they do, there's every chance that someone could drown inside their spacesuit. This was a disturbing reality for Italian astronaut Luca Parmitano, who was carrying out engineering work when he suddenly felt a pool of water starting to swell at the back of his neck. Luckily, his colleagues helped to guide him back to the safety of the airlock, in which time the water had begun to cover his nose. At one point, Parmitano even considered the desperate measure of releasing the safety valve near his ear. This would have killed him after a while. Space Molting the skin on an astronaut's feet after spending a long time in space can start to shed, leaving it childlike soft. However, if the process continues for too long you might have trouble walking because your soles feel like there is sand between your toes. Because of the lack of gravity, your body will start shedding layers of skin. As one astronaut, Don Pettit described it, your feet start to molt, like some reptilian creature. The callous skin on the bottom of your foot sheds, leaving soft pink flesh in its place. The human body is not suited for long-term space travel, and so it's affected in many ways by the lack of gravity. The most common side effects are problems with the heart, muscles, and bones. One study showed that people who had lived in space were two times more likely to die from cardiovascular causes than those on Earth. 
the night sky will someday be completely black. As the Milky Way galaxy continues to merge with its neighboring galaxies, the view of the night sky from Earth will change dramatically. The speedy expansion will eventually pull the galaxies apart faster than light, eliminating the distinctive products of the Big Bang and nullifying points of reference for expansion measurement. This is not a matter of if, but when. Extended space travel can change your DNA. Astronaut Scott Kelly, who spent a year at the International Space Station in 2016, returned to find that he was two inches taller than his departing height. The new physical differences between Kelly and his identical twin brother, Mike who is also an astronaut, were startling. Scientists compared the DNA of the two and found that Kelly's gut bacteria was completely different and his gene expression had changed. Scientists concluded that the changes were caused by the stresses of space travel which can cause changes in a cell's biological pathways. Although Kelly eventually returned to his original height, his other genetic changes are seemingly irreversible, meaning Kelly and his brother are no longer identical twins. Space carries a distinctive scent. Astronauts returning from space are typically accompanied by a peculiar, distinctive scent. Those exposed to the odor describe it as sulfurous and liken it to the smells of gunpowder, seared meat, hot metal and welding fumes. Water can start fires in space. In 2014, scientists experimented with a supercritical water, a state of water that occurs when it is compressed to 217 atmospheres and heated above 373 degrees Celsius. When mixed with organic material, it creates a liquid-like gas that creates a burning effect, though without a flame. Astronauts often use supercritical water as a means of disposing of waste. After all these harrowing tales of what it takes just to even exist in space it makes it clear that we are very much not welcome there. Given the lack of resources on this planet as well such as limited petroleum products that could ever be turned into rocket fuel, it is very likely that there is simply not enough to escape the Earth. Meaning that eventually due to the destruction of our sun our civilization is doomed. For more top lists just like this be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out our other videos and thanks for watching.